So, Jeff, thank you for joining me today here for our uh, our quick video interview. I know you're an expert uh, in morning routines. In fact, uh, you're up and probably have gotten in a half a day of work before I even had to get out of bed in the morning. So, <laughs> But you are an inspiration to me. Why do you think a morning routine is such a powerful part of uh, helping us get where we want to go? A morning routine is, is the beginning of your day. I mean, really, that's when everything starts. And so if you begin your day with intention and purpose and you have a plan for what you want to accomplish, uh, the odds of you succeeding go up dramatically. So people that wake up early and have a plan and it's on paper written down, uh, they're able to say, well, here's my biggest goal for the day and make time for that early in the day so that when those distractions pop up later and other things you know that come into our lives, other people and their requests for our time, when those things come in, it's not as big of a deal because you already got your big thing done early in the day. So that's what makes early mornings really powerful because they become that platform for you to do your most important work. Is early morning important or is it important to have that routine in place for whatever time I happen to get up? Is there something magical about getting up early in the morning? Uh, early morning tends to work well for a lot of people because their best time of the day when no one else is awake. Uh, and if your house is busy with a you know, family and there's you know kids running around or you've just got you're just a spouse or a roommate or someone who's going to be you know in your way potentially if you're up before they are uh, you have time to yourself which is really great um, in addition to that uh, most people's brains actually function better early in the day because willpower is a, is a, a resource that d depletes over time and so in the early part of the day you have more discipline more willpower and you're able to maximize that early in the day which is fantastic because then you take advantage of that and later in the day when you're tired and your brain's a little more groggy uh, it's not as big of a deal because you've already got your good stuff accomplished early in the day so if somebody's a, a night owl like i am do you have any uh, kind of advice for how we can uh, kind of make that transition from getting up at you know, noon to, to getting up at 5 a.m. And I, I exaggerate, but there are some of us, man, it's like, you know, our sweet spot is work until one, two o'clock in the morning, getting up at nine, 10, kind of starting our day then. Is there a way we could transition to being a morning person? Well, you've got two options. You've got to do it like the hardcore way, which is do it like right away tomorrow morning, get up and just have it be painful and just deal with the fact that you're exhausted. Or you can do it very slowly over time, which is what I recommend for most people, because if you do it slowly, the odds of you sticking with that is much greater. So if you're able to do it like 15 minutes earlier today and then 15 minutes more a week from now and, and slowly but surely get yourself there, it might take you a couple of weeks or a couple of months to get there. But the odds of you succeeding with that is so much greater because you're never going to actually feel exhausted or tired. It'll just feel normal to you, uh, which is way better. So if your goal is to go from you know, going to bed at midnight and then changing that to going to bed at like 10 p.m., that's, that's a very doable thing. It doesn't require you know a huge shift in your time schedule. So you don't have to do 5 a.m. as your wake up call. It could be any time you want it to be. Uh, but to slowly make that transition to an earlier time that works best for you gives you the better chance without having to feel like the whole world's over because you're so tired on sleep. So uh, real quickly here before we finish up, can you just kind of lay out a blueprint for what are the elements that, and I'm not asking you to give us a routine or whatever else, I'm just asking you, what are the kind of the basic elements that we work into this power morning so we get the best out of our uh, out of our day? Uh, some of the best things that work are working on your health and fitness. So I love to have a morning smoothie, uh, drink a lot of water. I usually have a morning espresso as well. Uh, so I have the, that side of nutrition, which is, you know, the hydration and, and the food. But then I also have the fitness side. So I love to do an early morning run or lift. Uh, most people, the best time in their day for a workout or taking care of themselves is early in the morning. So have you have that as a structure that's, ba that's built in there your odds of doing it are greater because you're not going to have the distractions later on. So I think one of the key foundations to a great early morning is personal self-care with your health and fitness. Um, in addition to that, if you don't have, if today is not a workout day, uh, you could do what basically becomes your goal achievement time. So you take a big project you want to do, whether it's a book you're writing or you know a business you're starting or something you want to work on, you do that in that early morning time instead. Uh, and then it becomes your your best time for goal achievement. So like for mo most people, that it's one or the other. It's either like they're going to do their morning exercise or they're going to end up doing you know great goal stuff in, in the morning instead. So it's it's just that uh, it's that mindset of, and I, I'm assuming this is this is really kind of the bottom line is it's developing that mindset that says all right, even if getting up is not natural to me, even if getting up that early seems painful to me. Uh, what I want to accomplish in life is more important than the pain of having to get up at that time of day. 
Exactly. Yeah. And, and there is a bit of pain as a part of that, but it's totally worth it if you are really committed to your goal and you want it to happen. I know that on the mornings where I have an appointment that's early on in the day, I get out of bed immediately because I know I have to be somewhere. On the, the days that I don't have an appointment, uh, it's a lot harder to get up. So if you have a reason to wake up and something you care about that you're working on, uh, then the odds of you getting up and actually staying up uh, is much greater. Uh, real quickly, tell everybody about your podcast, what you have going on there. It's called the 5 a.m. Miracle. And uh, would love for you to just kind of describe and invite people to come and be a part of what you're doing. Sure, yeah. The 5 a.m. Miracle podcast is a weekly podcast that's uh, it's on iTunes. And what I talk about there is early mornings, I'll talk about personal growth. I talk about healthy habits, productivity, uh, really anything that involves the idea that you're going to dominate your day before breakfast. That's the tagline for the show. And so everything that's involved there is about, you know, high achievement and personal growth so that you can be at your very best every day to accomplish your life's biggest goals. Where can so, people find you online? Uh, JeffSanders.com is the website. And of course, uh, the podcast is on iTunes. All right, Jeff, thank you for being with us. I uh, really appreciate your time. I encourage everybody to go and check out what you're doing. Listen to the 5 a.m. Miracle. It's a great podcast and we'll talk to you soon. Great. Thanks a lot, Dave. Thanks, Jeff.